everyone, I'm Megan and welcome to my channel. So today I am super excited about this video. I have been waiting and waiting and waiting. I've been watching and waiting it for it to launch and I finally got it in the mail and I just had to go ahead, play with it, film with it, do a wear test and all that good stuff. Of course, we are reviewing the brand new Bite Beauty Foundation Primer and pressed powders and I also have a little bonus in there for you guys because I'm also going to be wearing one of their new Power Move Creamy Matte Lip Crayons. So if you want to see my thoughts on all of these products, see them in action, I'm going to do a wear test and all of that good stuff, then you're in the right place to so just go ahead and keep on watching. Good morning guys. How are you all doing? I am doing well. Um, just a little side note. I did just try out for the very first time the Fenty Beauty, the lip scrub and the lip balm and these are awesome. So I have, I've been struggling. My lips have been so dry this winter, oh my lord. But this just really got all that dead skin off of there and my lips just feel so good and it's like relief <laughs> all right so as you guys already know we are going to be reviewing the brand new bite beauty i have the primer i've got the foundation as well as the powders and i did pick up three of the new um power move creamy matte lip crayons i've got them in amaretto amaretto calvados and honey crisp so there are the three shades i picked up so I will apply that at the end of my makeup and I'll come on and show you guys. Um, I did get one in the Trend Mood box last month and I did really like the formula so I wanted to pick it up in some new shades. So, first off, I have already washed and moisturized my skin. I have not primed. I was going to do one side of my Fenty primer, one side of this primer, but I'm just gonna do all of it by beauty and just see how it is. If something wonky goes on and happens, then I'll definitely test it with my normal primers and then we'll determine, you know, if it is the primer or the foundation. Hopefully we don't have to worry about that and all of this works really well. So I did pick up the normal to oily skin primer. There are two primers, which I definitely appreciate. Most of the time brands just release one primer with their foundation launches. Um, they, you know, made sure there was something for everyone. So I definitely appreciate that. This is what the packaging looks like. Very sleek, simple. It's matte with like a shiny gray. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on, let this set in. Um, and then I will read you all the details. I can tell you it's 38 bucks, so a little pricey. However, it does have 166 reviews and it's got almost five stars. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get some out. Ooh, okay. So that is what it looks like. It's white. And I'm just going, I might have got too much. So it really feels like a moisturizer. And hopefully it sets down pretty quick. This did not say well, we'll read it. If it mentions that it's pore filling, then I may just, you know, go without my tart. If it does not mention that it will help with pores, then I may um, just let it go and not add another primer. There is the primer all in. It felt really nice on the skin. Um, yeah, my skin looks really healthy, so. I mean, I do have a couple of little friends hanging out. <laughs> so, it says it's a clean, high-performance primer with skin-optimizing technology to neutralize your skin type and grip foundation for flawless, lasting wear. Willow Bark is a mattifying primer. Helps mattifying... Okay, so Willow Bark, which is in the mattifying primer, helps to mattify, control, shine, and blur the look of pores without stripping skin. So that's all it says about the mattifying primer. The hydrating primer has a specialized blend of micronized hyaluronic particles and sodium for enhanced hydration, olive oil, 
which helps to boost hydration, and then an antioxidant-rich ingredient that helps to nurture your complexion, which I think is in both. So, um, what it says, the mattifying primer, 100% of users agree that this primer doesn't peel. It 100% agreed the primer absorbs quickly, and 100% of users agreed this primer feels weightless, and I will have to agree with all three. That's all the details on the mattifying primer. Um, it did say that it is going to fill in pores. Actually, my pores look pretty good. So I might go in with a little bit more just in this area to kind of, you know, really press it in because this is really my problem area, just in this little area right here. So there's that. Um, I definitely feel like I've got some shine on my face, but it just looks like a healthy glow. Um, it does feel very smooth and soft. I definitely feel like it did help with my pores and did fill them in, so I like that. All right, now. For the foundation, I did pick it up in M90 and T120. So I will swatch both of those on my skin. I have no idea. I'm just now opening it. So I'm not, you know, trying to find my right shade. This okay, so obviously I did not uh, do a good job with the shade picking. Um, so there is M90 and there is T120. So as you can see, T120 is super dark and warm. Um, let's just go ahead and put it on and see. We might be okay with just that M90 actually. All right, I think I'm just gonna go in with M90 and we'll see how that looks. Um, and then I can just return the T120. Um, that's really dark. I don't know what I was thinking. I, you know, they put the swatches on there and you think you know what you need and you get it in, you know, you actually get it and it's nothing like the swatches, just like these new Smashbox um, lipsticks. Like, they look nothing like the swatches. They're beautiful. I love the formula and all of that, but brands really need to do better when it comes to putting swatches on there and making it more to what it really is. So the foundation is $39.50, and here is what it looks like. It's just in a squeeze tube, which is travel friendly. There are 32 shades in this foundation, and it says it's a clean, long-wearing foundation with gentle micellar technology that mimics skin texture for a natural, flawless finish. It's medium with a natural finish. It is for normal, dry, combination, oily, so for everyone. And the Maki Berry, an antioxidant rich ingredient that helps nurture your complexion and micellar technology gen gently mimics skin texture for a smooth, non cakey look. So we all want that, right? We do not want a cakey looking foundation. All right, so I'm gonna be going in on one side with my Zoeva Kabuki brush and on the other side, my Juno and Co sponge. So I'm just gonna start out with the brush. I'm gonna get a little bit of M90 and I need to zoom y'all in. <laughs> All right, so I'm going in with the brush on this side of my face. Yeah, that's a good match. It is like a moussey consistency too. looking good. Yay. I'm going to bring it all the way down my neck with the brush. Wow. Okay. So it definitely has a like a hydrating look. But I am loving the coverage. It says it's medium, but I definitely don't think I need to build up. Do you? I mean, I think it looks really good. Yay, a new foundation. Okay, I'm going to stop getting excited. I'm going to stop it. Now I'm going in with my Juno and Co sponge. 
I've had several questions about these sponges. Um, I will link it down below for you guys, but just go to junoandco.com. I think that's what it's called. Or just type in Juno and Co. in Google, and um, you'll pull it up. They are $6 a piece, and, um, and then you can get four for 22 so when you compare that, guys, to a beauty blender, which is $20 a piece, like crazy. And I'm telling you, this does not soak up product. It gives you the most smooth application with concealer, foundation. All right, guys, so this is the foundation completely blended in. Here is the sponge side and the brush side. I am loving the way my skin's looking. And I feel like M90 is perfect for me it's perfect um i'm mad that i wasted some but it you see it it's definitely a moussey consistency like the t120 is not running at all it's staying in place it's very moussey but it's very lightweight on the skin i didn't have to go in and layer it at all i am loving this like there even on the brush side like there's no brush strokes I mean, it just looks so natural and feels so good on my skin. So now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my concealer. I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury um, under eye corrector. I wish they, I, hopefully they will come out with a concealer next. So I'm gonna go in with Snow. This is what I'm going in with. I'm gonna go in with that directly under my eyes. Then, I like to go in with Nude directly under that, just so it blends a little better into the foundation. So, I've got that. Now, guys, this sponge, you just take the flat side like that, and it just gives you the most flawless, full coverage finish. Um, in comparison, I should do a video comparing, like, one side with the beauty blender and one side with the sponge with the juno and co sponge this is called the velvet sponge by the way um and just show you like how much full coverage you get with this type of sponge and how little product it soaks up it's amazing it really is and the price like so there is the concealer blended out to the foundation Guys, there's no issues whatsoever. It blended right in. I'm getting so excited. So now I'm gonna go in with just nude in the center of my face. All right, and I'm gonna blend this out as well. Let's see how this does. Easy peasy. All right, so there is the concealer blended out. I'm now going to go ahead and cream contour and we'll see how that does over top the foundation. I'm assuming it's gonna work perfectly. All right, guys, so I just blended out the cream contour. It did wonderfully. I did not have any issues whatsoever. Um, now, I'm going to go ahead and set everything in place with my Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder. Now, I normally go ahead and do my brows and I do um, my eye makeup. And then I come back and do like my foundation powder, which I do have the new Bite Beauty. So I am going to pop off camera and I'm going to finish up my eyes, my brows and all of that. And then when I get back to this point, I will come back and show you guys. So I will see you guys here in just a second. All right guys, so I just finished up my eyes, my brows and mascara. And now I'm gonna pull Sephora's website back up and give you the details on this new foundation powder they launched with the foundation. So this is what it looks like. It's called the Change Maker Flexible Coverage Pressed Powder. So it says, and I picked it up in two shades. You guys know I like to go in with a lighter uh, powder foundation in the center of my face and then go in with a darker one on the out, similar to the way I do the Laura Mercier powder. So I picked it up in light two and tan one. It is $36. 
And this is what it looks like. You get one of these puffs. And then here is the outer packaging. And there is the powder. So here is tan one and light two. So that light two might be too light, but we'll make it work. Um, it's a clean, talc-free powder made from finely milled volcanic minerals to blur, mattify, and touch up on the go. Ooh. Um, so that's all it really says. And then it tells you the highlighted ingredients, which, um, the volcanic materials, that's what's interesting to me. Um, it helps to blur, control sign, and it and absorb impurities so that is awesome so i'm just going to grab my little powder brush like this i'm going into the light one first and i'm going to just put that oh look how smoothing this is what i normally do on a daily basis with my charlotte tilbury shade two and three and then i just go in the center of my face down my nose. Wow. I'm really shocked. Like, very smoothing. There's definitely some coverage in there. <laughs> All right, now I'm going into the tan one. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And this is actually really good coverage. Like, I'm used to the Charlotte Tilbury, but this definitely has some coverage in there. And I'm sure if you went in with this puff, you could even just go without the liquid and just go in with the powder. But we'll keep an eye on all of it. But this is what my skin's looking like. So, it's looking so good. I'm so happy. <gasps> now, while I have got you on camera, I am going to go ahead and do my normal thing. So, I'm getting my Scott Barnes Contour Palette. And I'm just going, I'm going into Sliced to contour my nose. Now, I'm going to go in to Carve. Just a tad. Now for bronzer, I'm going into the El Maquillage Waka Waka. Been loving this bronzer. I'm going in with my Tom Ford bronzer brush. So pretty. Then for blush, no surprise here, I'm going into my Scott Barnes blush palette. And I'm going to be going in between I'm going to go into this shade first, right? Nope, this one. <laughs> the lighter one. Just give a nice flush. Then I'm going to go into the mango. And just dust whatever's left on the brush. Everywhere else. <laughs> All right, so there's that. I'm definitely getting my use. I mean, my eyes is the Scott Barnes palette. Um, I'm just obsessed with all of his stuff. I, to be honest with you, I don't care for the highlight palette, just to be honest. I mean, it's great. It's fine. But, um, you know, I definitely have smoother ones. Talking of highlights, um, this is the um, Charlotte Tilbury, the Magic Star Highlighter. So... This is my completed makeup look. I'm not, well, no, it's not completed. I'm going to go in to, I think, Calvados. I don't know. One of these Bite Beauty. Um, I wanted to try this out on camera for you guys. Um, I do really like the formula. So, oh, see, here we go with the swatches. I don't know. We'll try it. We'll try it. So, it, I do like it because it has a point. So, you can really line your lips with this and um, and then fill them in. So, 
So here is my completed makeup look. I'm obsessed, guys. Like, what is going on here? We actually have a nice foundation. Like, what? And it's their very first, like, skin product, you know, makeup product, face product. Like, I'm, I'm, I know this is going to do good. I mean, just look. Like, I can't get over it. I cannot get over it. I did not... There's not one thing from them that I've used today that I did not like. The lip, Calvados, these things are awesome. Um, I lined my lips and filled them in, easy peasy. Um, the primer, love it. The foundation, the, um, the pressed powder, I'm loving it. So, I really have no complaints. I'm probably going to spritz the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist as well as the Urban Decay All Nighter and Ultra Matte all over my face um just a little side note if you did pick up the new ultra matte urban decay all nighter it, it freaked me out when i first used it but when you shake it up really well and when you spritz it on your face you're gonna see little white dots all you need to do is grab your sponge that you used and press it in it'll go away and it will really hold your makeup in but i'm trying to decide if i should wear a setting spray or not i might uh, i don't know I may, I'll just let you guys know my first check-in <laughs> and I'll let you know what I've decided to do. Um, I don't want to alter my review of this at all, but I can go ahead and tell you I'm really loving it. My skin looks flawless. My pores, everything looks so good. So anyhow, I'll, I'll update you guys. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to pop off camera. I'm going to go make me some breakfast and then I will come back throughout the day and give you guys check-ins. So I'll see you guys here in a little bit. Hey guys, I am back with my second check-in. I've now been wearing this foundation for six hours and actually seven hours um, and I'm loving it so I mean I have not looked up close but I haven't been doing anything really crazy or active I haven't been left the house I've just been cleaning around here the only thing I'm noticing is it's kind of creasing around my nose and a little bit in my smile lines and right here which is normal. Um, I have been wearing it for seven hours. I do have oily skin. I can't tell you I don't look oily at all. I uh, still look very matte. My pores look great. Between my eyes look great. And I am loving the way my makeup's looking. So I'm going to have zoom you guys in and let y'all see it up close. And then I'm going to go on about my day. And I'll check in with you guys later. So here's up close look. I don't know if you're able to see it's kind of creasing like around my nose a little bit but I mean my pores look great between my eyes looks great a little bit of creasing right there and then of course my smile lines but nothing crazy I just feel like my skin looks so smooth. Hey guys, I am back with my third and final check-in. I've now been wearing this foundation for 10 and a half hours and I really love it. I asked my fiance when he got home from work this evening, I was like, so what do you think of my makeup? Do you like it? Does it look good? And he was like, it looks so good. He was like, the color and everything. He was like, it just, your face just looks like very natural. Um, so, and he will tell me. He's always honest. Like, he don't care if he hurts my feelings. He's going to tell me like it is. So, um, the only thing that I'm noticing is in this area, and I'll show you guys up close. Um, I know, don't, don't get on to me, but I have been laying in this tan in bed trying to get like a base tan. And uh, I don't know if my skin's peeling right here or what it is. But I think that's what's going on. And I will update you guys once I kind of figure out what's going on after I wash my face. Um, and let you know if it is the skin just peeling where I might have laid a little too much or, you know, too long. Um, my pores, I mean, if you look at my makeup, it looks like I just applied it. It looks so fresh and nice and just smoothing. Like, I, I'm obsessed. I'm going to wear this tomorrow and probably the next day and the next day and the next day. This is going to be, like, up there with the YSL and Charlotte Tilbury 
hands down one of the best foundations I've ever used in my life. I will go ahead and give them that bite beauty. You did your thing on this one, okay? <laughs> um, between my eyes, I mean, everywhere it looks so good. Um, I did eat supper a little while ago, and I do have like a little crease right here. Um, that tends to happen sometimes, so I'm not going to, you know, knock that for, for that, but... I mean, I have been wearing it a good while. I do have very, very oily skin, and as you can tell, I don't look oily at all. Of course, we are going to go ahead and touch up, and the powder I'm going to use, of course, is going to be the Bite Beauty. I want to see how it does, you know, apply after, you know, because it says it can be used to touch up. So, I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in and let y'all take a look at it, but pay attention to this area right here. All right, so I turned down the lights. Do you guys see that right there? Hmm. But if you look at my pores, I mean, like around my nose a little bit, it's kind of caking up a little bit right here in that line. Like when I eat, you know. <laughs> but that's just weird right there. Anyhow, but if you look between my eyes. And I mean, everywhere else looks so good. So you guys saw what I was talking about, that little area right there, that little patch. So as soon as I cut the camera off, I'm definitely gonna go wash my face and kind of investigate and see what's going on. But besides that little area right there, guys, this is, like I said, hands down, gonna be one of my favorite foundations and primers. So let's see how oily I am. There's no oil. What? After ten and a half hours of wear, there's no oil. Look at that little bit right there was from the side of my nose. Oh my gosh. Little bit on my nose. <sighs> that little tiny bit between my eyes. Let's go on my chin. Okay. So the chin was just a little bit oily. <laughs> Have you ever saw any of my foundation reviews where I only use half of a blotting sheet? Like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my gosh. Holy crap, guys. Like, what? <laughs> oh, I forgot to tell you guys that I did go in with the um, Morphe Continuous Setting Spray as well as the All Nighter Ultra Matte. So I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I mean, every day, most of the time, most everyone does set their makeup. So I went ahead and set mine in place because I, you know, I did apply a lot of powders and I do like the look, you know, that this that those sprays give me. It just sets everything down and so I'm not like just powdery. But there is a new ingredient I've never saw in any of my foundations I've tried and it was the Volcanic. Hold on. Okay. So it took me a minute to find it. I remember there was something about Volcanic something. It's Volcanic Materials. It's not in the primer. It's not in the foundation. It's actually in the powder foundation. And it helps to blur, control shine, and in absorb impurities. So, I'm assuming, because I've never saw anything like that in a um, 
foundation primer powder or anything so maybe that's the secret ingredient the secret weapon by beauty has found you know to help us oily skin people but guys ten and a half hours of wear and you know half of a blotting sheet like ooh, i'm just shook okay um I, I love this foundation i love it i love it i love it um i will update you guys to let you know what's going on here we will go over it with powder just to kind of see how it does touch up i'm assuming it's going to look fine but really i don't even need to like i mean my skin looks really good it i mean we can add a little bit more yeah it touches up very nicely it's not powdery at all i will be honest like when i first applied it of course i could you know after you know I, when I applied it on camera, I mean, I could tell that there was powder there and there was definitely some coverage and pigment. Um, but whenever you use it to touch up, it does not look powdery at all. I don't even know why I'm doing this. I really don't need to. Guys, overall, I love this foundation. I love it. I love it. I love it. I have no complaints whatsoever. Not one at all. Um, I got a very nice long day wear out of it. And again, you know, I could go on for another however long <laughs> I needed to. And I'm sure my makeup will look great. Um, it is controlling the oil better than any foundation I have ever tried. I will say that again. It controlled my oil better than any foundation I've ever tried, ever, 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 ever. I don't know if it's a combination of the primer, foundation, and the powder together, but guys, I mean, it it's blowing my mind. Like, I've never not been like that little oily. I don't know how to say it. I have nothing else to say. <laughs> you guys saw it for yourself. Um, I love it. <laughs> I'm going to quit saying that, Megan. But anyhow, guys, um, overall, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Um, it is a moussey consistency. Like, when I first applied it, it was very luminous. So, I feel like it, for all my dry skin people out there, you're going to love this just as well. Also, there is a primer for you um, that will help to hydrate and keep you hydrated. There's some awesome ingredients I read on Sephora's website that they have included in their hydrating primer. Primer. So I would pick that one up with this and you know if you do powder I would definitely pick this up with it. Um, so overall guys that is my experience with the new Bite Beauty complexion products. I am super excited about this line. I hope they can bring out concealers and they just keep expanding and expanding because they did their thing on this. <laughs> so, anyhow, that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, give your girl a thumbs up. That helps me out so much. And if you are not subscribed, I would love for you to do so. This little button, like, right here, I think is where it's at. Like, right here. Red button. Easy to see. Just click it. Okay, good. You got it? All right, good. <laughs> And you can, if you want, you can hit the little bell right beside of it. And that way you're notified of all my future uploads. And thank you guys again for watching. I love you all. And I will see you in my next ones. Bye.